let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling So what's up divas? What's up deep bows? Your girl is back for another video. This is about to be a retry, not a retry of an actual wig, but a retry of the actual grid tape. So I wanted to just give this another go because the actual, the first time that I tried it out, I wasn't aware of the color that I needed, plus also where to place the tape. So it was like a trial and error basis. You know, I figured we, we can just give this a try. So I wanted to try out the grid erase knots and uh, concealer tape. So it's called Lace Wigs Grids and Knots Eraser, and it's by the brand Bye Bye Lace Grid Studio Limited, and this is available on Sam's Beauty. And there are two colors available, which is the Natural HD and the HD Clear. So it's simple, it's really easy. You know, you just need to cut out the right amount that you're gonna use. You don't need to tape up the whole entire cap of the wig, just where you're going to part it at, and it will help eliminate some of the grids and the knots. So this is the HD clear color and this is the natural. So today's video we're going to try out this the stylus wig which is also available on Sam's Beauty and this one that I have here is the tasty. She called tasty honey. This is invisible lace HD 13 by 6 pre plucked 100% human hair master blend and the color that I have is the OET1B Burgundy. Okay. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is make your part. And this is prior to applying any tape on the unit. And this is because you don't want to use excess tape. So you want to make sure to place your part in the lace frontal prior to applying the tape. And so being that this is already on the unit, this is already parted for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this part that it's already in here. But it is a 13 by six. And you do get plenty of parting with this unit. So you wanna go ahead and flip your wig on the outside. Now I'm going to use this one here, which is the clear. And I'm not going to put it directly at the hairline, but a little bit past it behind it so guys I'm gonna go ahead and peel off this is easy to peel I would suggest cutting the exact amount that you do need and try not to put it on any part of the fabric but just the lace because I do find that it really sticks really well to just the lace and not the actual fabric or the inside of the cap I use like the back of a comb to press into it I just try to make sure that the tape is really getting into it it does have like a gooey feel on the opposite side of the wig once you have applied the tape. So that's the clear. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put on the natural so that you guys can see it. I did do this on another wig, which I did showcase. But there's a lot more lace to this unit, so I wanted to try something totally different. And this is the natural color. I did say try not to put it so close to the hairline, the tape, and you really wanna try not to put the tape too close to your hairline because the tape has a blunt cut unless you use like some curved scissors or pink and sheer scissors to give it like a jagged edge when you do cut the tape, which would probably be a really great idea. So also go ahead and press down on this side, which you will see, notice that it is a little bit sticky, which is fine because it will help adhere any type of like dry facial powder that you use. I don't suggest using wet foundation on top of the actual tape on the outside, only because I've tried that and it really doesn't stick. So I did use the um, powder foundation and facial powder and it just adhered to the tape on the outside perfect. And you really can't tell much difference 
now when you see the clear or the natural but the natural is a little bit lighter in color for me now as you guys see i'm just going to take that pressed powder and i'm just going to rub it all into and onto the tape and like i said because it has a sticky residue on the opposite side it kind of makes the powder blend and stick just a whole lot better versus just you know applying it onto like a dry wig cap or dry you know dry lace And you know, you just build the color up to your preference, to your color tone. Now this is the part, you know, which I normally always do, which is removing the lace from the lace wig or the frontal. The hair, of course, is synthetic and the hair is very plentiful. You do get a lot of hair in this particular unit. I like the color a lot too, because I do like burgundy 99J. You know, it makes me look and appear a lot darker in complexion. And that's one thing that I do like about it. I'm not too crazy about a whole bunch of different color wigs, but I will wear like a burgundy color. I love like a good burgundy color. Or you guys already know, like a really good blonde. Girl, you, you got me sold on those. Now, as far as the fit of this unit, the stylus, it works for me. It fits very comfortably. I like the fact that they gave so much parting space in this lace front, this synthetic lace front, okay? You don't see a lot of companies do that. But when they do, girl, I'm just like thrown floored because this is what you call a good synthetic wig. Now I am using the Even New York Hairspray. I'm not like a huge fan of it because it does dry really sticky depending on the hair. But for this particular method, I just sprayed it onto the toothbrush and then I just brushed it onto the hair. I didn't want to spray exactly onto the wig because I did notice that when you do that with this particular hairspray, it kind of dries and it gave me like a white sticky residue on another particular wig that I was, you know, adhering. So I just rather spray a little bit on the toothbrush for the synthetic hair, but it does give a good hold, but you don't want to overdo it with the even. Now, honey, this wig is gorgeous. Um, I really do like it. The color is really nice. Um, and it you for this particular one, you could use the tape or not. But this tape is available at Sam's Beauty. And you could use it on human hair wigs, honey. Synthetic wigs, girl. And like I said, just cut the exact amount that you need like after you make your part. So that way you're not wasting any of the tape. As far as the tape, so this is what the natural looks like on me. And this is what the clear looks like on me. So it's just a tad bit lighter, but I think like it does, you, you can tell it's just a tad bit lighter but I do like the clear on me versus the natural. As far as tasty, she is like a kinky, yakky texture, very full and voluptuous, a lot of hair, depending on where you part it. I wanted to try to part it in the middle. So I just went ahead and parted in the middle and I'm just going to apologize in advance. I'm not really sure what happened to the footage of the actual video of my hair in the middle. I think I might have accidentally deleted it when I was deleting some of my files. But either way, it came out great, honey. Check out Sam's Beauty. I will leave all of the information down below for this unit along with the tape. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. I love you.